What's up boys? Today's video one twenty fourth scale and or one eighteenth scale scale accessories, tips and tricks. <coughs> Now I realize most of this stuff you can just 3D print. That's not what this video is about. This video is to open your eyes to some brands that you may not have thought about for some little scale accessories. And offer some tips. First up, let's jump right into it. First up. This is a brand you've all heard of. This is a brand most of you might even already have. Lego. You guys are sleeping on Legos. Scale chains. Little boxes, throw in the bed of the truck. Let me bring you guys in closer. Tons of tools. These line up perfectly with the scale of our trucks. Walkie talkie. There's thousands of Legos. This is just a small example. You can add some paint to them to give them more flair. Next, hobby stores and or Walmart. I think this was used, supposed to be used for bracelets. This is what I used on the bumper of the van for rope. You could ball it up, put it in the bed of your truck. Now you have a thing of rope. Also, while at Michael's, you can pick up a sheet of felt and some zip ties. and make yourself whatever this is. Like a little camping sleeping roll, sleeping bed. And then you put it on your roof rack and it looks sick. Wood. Popsicle sticks. Different shapes and sizes. You can cut these, burn them with a torch, Pardon me. You can burn these with a torch, make them look worn. Make a little wooden bed out of them. Scale pallets. Acrylic paint. Let me real quickly show you guys how to use this. Shake it up. Tiny little drop. Grab a brush, any type of brush, doesn't matter. Let me tell you guys what we're even doing here. For the scale accessories, for example, we're going to use these traction boards. I hate when people use scale accessories on their roof rack and such that are bright red and brand new looking. At Nutty Crawler on Instagram, Kevin, 
I'm calling you out. You need to do this. Bright red traction board. No! Get the excess paint off. Do it a few times until you're happy with it. You can use black. You can use different shades of brown. Make it look more worn. Same goes for the roof boxes. That Lego chain, you could do it with that. All the Lego tools. Etc. I'll clean that later. <clears throat> also, at the hobby store, paint markers. You can find very Fine tip ones. This is good for little details, such as the hinges. All different colors. They have chrome. All that bumper trim and that little word in there was done with a chrome uh, paint pen marker. Moving on. Stickers. Scale bumper stickers. Scale for sale signs. These come from eBay. Max Graphic Solutions. It's only four bucks for the for sale ones. He has a bunch of different options. Also, while they are still on here, you can take some sandpaper to them and make them look a bit worn. Stickers, once again. If you go on eBay and type in one slash 24 water slide decals or water transfer decals, most model kits are 124th or 125th scale. There's a ton of water slide decals. Pinstriping. Golf. This is what I used for this truck. You can put them on and then sand it a bit. That's how I got that look. These were obviously used for my taxi. If you don't know how to use water slide decals, look it up on YouTube. I didn't know how to either, I just followed a tutorial. Moving on. Little Tykes Mystery Balls. I found these at Walmart. I bought a bunch of them, hoping to get the little red wagon. I didn't get it, but I did get a table and chair set. Mainly, I just love the little scale boxes these come in. Swing set. Let me show you how cute this is. This would be good for a scale garage setup, but the main thing I use these for was on my Barbie Jeep, the little Tykes car. There's a ton of these. You can also find these on eBay if you just look up little Tykes mystery toys. Moving on. The world's smallest collection. There's a ton of toys. <clears throat> 
that are the world's smallest, such as world's smallest big wheel. This would be nice in a scale garage or in the bed of your truck crawler. World's smallest tech deck. And they have a bunch more. You need to be careful. Some of them are not the right size. <clears throat> Next up, the website Fair RC. First of all, this is boring, but they sell like the same little storage boxes that most places do. Don't care about that. They also sell this resin printed roof box. They also have this cloth little bag. I really care for this. They also have this little rolled up sleeping bag, which is also cloth. <clears throat> Moving on. Lastly, you guys have heard me mention it before and I'm going to continue to mention the brand until they sponsor me Playmobil rooftop boxes storage luggage Mountain bikes, BMX bikes, track style bike. Bunch of outdoor stuff, axes, pickaxes, maybe you're doing a beach themed truck, little bucket with a shovel, hot dog, This is a cooler, by the way. Fish. Maybe you need a map for overlanding. Throw it in the dashboard of your truck. David, this one's for you. Lettuce. Also, much like Lego. Let me flip you guys around again. Complete tool set, ratchet, pliers, wrenches, vice grips, just add a little paint. Also, the people are perfect size for drivers. Cut their legs off, glue them on the inside. I think that's all I need to show. If you go on eBay, also little duffel bags. Add some paint to that, good to go. If you go on eBay and type in Playmobil, there's thousands and thousands of things. These tools and bikes came from a little bike workshop kit. Everything else I've just been getting with the vehicles. Like the, the bug in the bus comes with 
coolers and luggage for the roof rack. Surfboard came with the bus. This roof box, Playmobil. It's not mounted yet, but it will be. I think that's all I got for this video. If you have anything to add, leave it in the comments. If you just want to say something nice to me, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped somebody. Peace!